You have to be confident to be mysterious. Nobody wants to figure out or get to know a person who's just shy and awkward and thinks that they're lame and thinks that they're a loser. Nobody wants to get to know you if you think that about yourself. So step it up. Step up the way you see yourself. Have you ever met somebody so charming and magnetic that you thought to yourself, how can I implement these tips that I'm going to tell you right now in my life so I appear more attractive, more mysterious. Hi ladies, my name is Daniela and today we're going to be talking about how to be mysterious. We are talking about the person who doesn't talk about themselves a lot. The person who always has less to say and keeps you wanting more. If you want to know how to be mysterious, you have to first understand the power of language. When to change your tone. When to speak at a higher pitch. When to speak at a more lower tone. All of this is going to enhance how people see you. Focus on lowering your tone and pacing yourself when you speak. Make sure you articulate your words. You don't just say anything. Most of the time you have to remain silent and just observe because I'm honestly more afraid of the person who has nothing too little to say than the person who just overshares. The person who just tells you everything and everything. That person you don't really respect. That person you don't take seriously. So right now, you have to change the way you present yourself in front of other people. Talk with authority. Talk like you know exactly what you are saying. You stand on your facts. You have to be confident to be mysterious. Nobody wants to figure out or get to know a person who's just shy and awkward and thinks that they're lame and thinks that they're a loser. Nobody wants to get to know you if you think that about yourself. So step it up. Step up the way you see yourself. Tell yourself that you will not settle for less. You are deserving of so much more. And once you know this about yourself, you become unstoppable. Don't give people everything they want. Don't share your whole life story. Don't share your background. Don't share your traumas. Don't share that shit. Because it just honestly kills the attraction. It kills... And you are so vulnerable to be manipulated when people know your weak points. When people know your weak points... Gosh. Gosh. Understand that less is more. Always keep people from coming back. Always keep people wanting more of you. It's so fun to figure somebody out. So you have to learn how to conceal your emotions. Because a mysterious person doesn't always tell you what they are thinking. A mysterious person is mostly silent. When you conceal your intentions and you conceal your emotions, people don't know how to feel. People don't know how to act. And it kind of makes them talk more. It makes them overshare. It makes them anxious. Because they don't know what you're thinking. And they're intimidated by you. You are so easily manipulated when other people can see your emotion. They can see how to play you. Because you're telling them what your pain points are, where you are weak, you're telling them everything. People are paying attention. So, be quiet. 
say less than needed when you say less people actually pay attention and they listen they listen when you speak so talk less be less available for people people will pick up on this and they'll begin to fear you but not in a way that's bad in a way that they don't understand you they don't understand what you're thinking they don't know how to impress you they don't know how to do whatever they want with you you're not easily manipulated and when you use silence and understand the power of your language you are able to build tension with anybody and once you use silence and deep eye contact with somebody. You just build that tension. When you use anticipation to your advantage, it makes you so much more mysterious. Use anticipation. Build that tension between two people. Communicate with your eyes. Communicate with your body with your facial expressions. Instead of telling your friend something by speaking, why don't you try the next time by using your body language, using your eye contact to explain something, using your facial expression to tell people how you are feeling. You have to be more silent. Be more relaxed observe everything that is happening to you and trust me it's so much better to say less than to tell everybody your story before you say something pause and build that tension look that person in their eyes and look at them with meaning because people can feel an empty just stare but look at them with intention people will feel that energy if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe i will be leaving my instagram down below and if you have any video suggestion i would really appreciate that thank you so much bye